And now next you notice that this is a short excerpt of the complete article, whereas here this is just far too long for like a front page. So let's just go back into our code here. You can see next they have something called the content. This uh, WordPress function actually goes and display the entire article into the page. So we don't really want that. Instead, we want like just a simple excerpt. So we can just put in excerpt. And then in terms of finishing up with the excerpt, we don't exactly need to have like additional text or link afterwards to tell the reader to click on to read more because we to show you in this oops in this demo we have or we are creating this read more link. So we can just get rid of that. Going back. Okay, so we've gotten rid of that inside. Great. So now actually it's probably a good idea for us to inc um, include a tag outside of it just to let us know that this is in, in fact the, um, the post entry and so it doesn't we don't confuse ourselves if we need to go in and just look at the HTML afterwards. Okay, so after that we see that we have refresh. Uh, greatly shortened down the length of the article. So um, an, an excerpt under normal circumstances, um, what WordPress does is take the first 50 char uh, fifty character, no, 50 words within um, your whole article and the rest of them is truncated, removed. You could go in to set, uh, you can go into the functions list in order to set how long you want the excerpt to be, or you can put in um, custom excerpts if that's what you want for individual articles. But that's beyond the scope of what we're doing at the moment. So let's just, just move on. Now, after that, we also have this little box with the read more link, uh, link to the comments, and then the date of the post. So let's go in to add it into on code. So um, you can see here that um, this information is displayed within a p tag with the class of post footer. So let's add that into our code. Okay, just close it to make sure I remember. And then you start off with having um, a tag, an A tag, with the class of read more and the link that's called read more. And we could uh, start by typing this href. Now the link, what we're going to do is echo the permalink to the page. And then put in the class, which is read more. And then we want to call this read more. And now this is separated by a um, divider again. Okay, so we put in the divider. And then next we need a link to the comments. So we do say again the same thing. A href is equals to another PHP tag with the function. This time it's called comments link. Close the bracket, close the PHP tag, and then the class this time is called comments. So class is equal to comments. And then put in the word comments. And now uh, we are uh, displaying a comment number based on how many comments we have. And to do that, we use a yet another PHP uh, WordPress uh, built-in functions. This is called comments number. And so um, for the first, uh, the no, uh, no comments, let's just take that off. So we put nothing there. And then for one, let's just display one, oops, one, in a bracket like that. And then if you have more than one, we are going to display is with 
the percent sign, which will automatically generate uh, the number based on how many there is in the post. And then close the function. Close the PHP tag. Close the A tag. And then finally, we have the uh, span. Uh, whoops. Finally, we have the date of the article posting. So let's just add that in as divider. Span class is equals to date. And then we have to put in the time of the article. It's called the time underscore time. And the format we want is the this. Okay, so sorry about the interruption. So after that, we need to close the uh, HP, uh, PHP tag and then close the span tag. Okay, so let's just save that and see what this looks like. There we go. So we have now the read more link, which should go and open up to the page. Obviously, this has not been styled yet, so that's why it looks like this. But that works. This goes into the comment. Oops, uh, that's not right. I messed up there. So let's just go back and fix it. Comments. Okay, the problem is here. I've forgotten to close the uh, the double quotes. Save it, go back. There we go. So now the comment should work. Perfect. And now we have the date that the post has been made. All right, so then it moves on to the next um, article or post. Then you can see all this extra information here is redundant. So we can go ahead and remove that. So let's just go in and grab all of this and delete it. Save it. Recheck our post, uh, our page. Perfect. And now you can see that our index.php uh, page is styled correctly. Uh, but uh, the next thing we like to look at is the next section, which is the next and previous links. Um, right now, because we don't have enough posts, it's not showing us the link yet. So let's just for us to go into our settings and change it to uh, like the number of pay, uh, posts per page to a lower number so that we can see that link and so we can style that. So if you go under settings in your admin tab panel, uh, look for uh, reading. And on this page, you can set um, the number of posts to show on the blog page. Let's just set this to a lower number, like uh, 5. Hit Save Change. And then go back. The next page link would appear. Okay, now this is, uh, we should probably style this because this is kind of at the wrong side here. And if you click on this link, the it gives you a previous page actually I need to sh reduce this even more so that you can see it with both links otherwise you won't be able to see what I meant okay there we go now you can see what the problem is here when you have both links showing up on the page so you have next link that points it this way and then you have previous link that is right next to that so clearly this needs to be fixed so let us go back to our code. Okay, so uh, besides doing that, we should also uh, style this properly. Um, the problem here is that this, the in within um, the starters template, this uh, function, this um, if statement doesn't really work. So I'm just gonna delete it, and then we will put in our own thing to make it work. So um, I am just going to call uh, this section with a div class name of navigation. And then let's just close this. 